morning. Welcome back to the channel guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'm out in the woods today. I'm going to spend a few hours out here building a shelter with a shovel. It's more shovel talk with Joe. Look, you can start to see the ground, amazing. So it's zero degrees Celsius out today, at least it is this morning. And uh, spring's coming, like I was saying. Spring's on its way. Actually, I found some open melt water down here, which is really, the icing on the cake, really proves spring's just around the corner, snow's melting, and then the ice, or the water's not freezing up, I mean. These are always interesting to find them, little spruce nests. They just grow all weird. This is just one little burl. Well, maybe it was a little canker or sore on the tree, and it just shot out all these little... which is not normal. Be good kindling, though. All I'm doing right now is walking around the woods looking for a suitable spot to make like a survival-type shelter using just a shovel. If I'm looking around, I'm seeing lots of things like this. Just downed evergreens. They'll be good to use for thatching. They're all over the forest floor. That's just, whoa, whoopsies. But that's just thatching, right? I actually need a legit framework, ridge pole, all that fun stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna walk around for a bit and I'll let you know once I find it. Well, this looks okay. This does not look too shabby at all. Have my little water bottle up here. I think this this could work. If I clear off all these uh, dead branches, make some rib work in the back, some boughs, might just do the trick. Let's get this shovel out and look at what we're really getting into. Look at what we're working with. So you guys know I'm not very gear oriented on my channel. I don't do very many gear videos. I use gear, but I don't do like a dedicated gear video. The company EST Gear messaged me, emailed me, wanted me to test out their EST shovel. And um, I did a lot of research into it. And I said, yeah, actually that looks like a pretty decent shovel. Let's try it out. And who knows, it might be good, it might not be. I'm not usually one for foldable shovels. If you watch the one of my videos in the past, well, I think when I was starting to build the fort, or sorry, the hut at my house before Scout passed, I had a little foldable shovel and it, it, it just disintegrated on dirt. So foldable shovels, collapsible shovels in my mind don't have a good um, reputation. But when I got it, when I researched this, I got this, I was playing around with it at home, the thing's solid, legit. So let's check it out. Comes with a carrying case, as you saw me put it on, Whatever, you can throw it in your backpack, you can throw it up your shoulder, whatever you want. So many planes. Anyways, there's four tubes and the shovel head. Got the first tube here. Inside this tube is part of the handle, right? Inside here, you've got a compass. You've got a fire steel. You've got a whistle on the fire steel. So that's kind of cool. The compass goes right on there too. And then that's the end of the handle. So we'll get that back on. Oh, oh look at that. A little screwdriver. Forgot about that guy. A little screwdriver in there too. I don't understand how many planes could possibly fly overhead. Okay. One thing I don't like is it's a little rattly. As I say that, it stops. 
anyways, I've not used this at all yet. I've just put it together at home once, so this is the first for me. Oh, inside here you got a little plug with a saw back blade. The third part of the handle tube is just the handle. Uh, and then the fourth tube. What about the fourth tube? And the fourth tube goes on to the shovel blade itself. Shovel has a little nylon guard on it, which is kind of helpful. You want to put the big silver ring down first. It kind of connects onto the uh, the folder part for you. Keep it nice and secure. Now you can have it like that, or obviously you can go go into pick mode and have it locked like that. With this, I found at home I wanted to I had to tighten it a whole lot just so it didn't slip. But once I had it tightened on there, it was good. Um, Okay, she's on. Just tightening it all down. And as you can see, it's a decent size, sturdy. Um, it's made of like aircraft aluminum. <laughs> it's got a saw on the blade itself, an, an ax side, a rope cutter, a bottle opener, a measuring tape, um, some ratchet holes. What else? I'm sure there's things I'm missing. There's lots. There's some foam grip on it too. Pretty cool. Let's get this put away. And then we'll start to build the shelter. It is nifty. Like, in all honesty, like, the tools on this are not going to be as good as a specific tool by itself. It's not going to be as good as an axe, just this little axe blade here. Or this part for the saw is not going to be good as a dedicated saw. But if you're looking for a one tool option, man, like, this thing's pretty... Got it, pretty well got it covered. Per tree well. Let's check out this potential shelter. So you can see, there's not much room between the top and the bottom, but that's good for survival. You don't want a lot of room, and this is still connected here. So as long as I don't mess with it too much, it should be safe. So we got to get rid of all these limbs. Oh, oh, that was not good. Uh, oh, I jabbed in the chest with a stick. I, I punched through the snow. Okay, careful. Anyway, this um, this is the axe blade part. This is the saw blade part. I'm gonna use this part first to see which which works better, but we'll switch it up and see. Ah. Uh, it's not fun. Man, this thing is solid. Okay, I'm gonna flip it around and use the saw blade part just to hit it with. Well, that doesn't doesn't do a bad job either. Fudge. Clean up a lot on the on the bottom side, because that's what I would do if I was sleeping out in it, so I didn't poke myself or my eye, potentially rip a sleeping bag or something along those lines. Just a good idea to get all the twigs out. Okay, well, we all know shovels work as shovels. The snow is 
this deep. So, I don't know, do I need to shovel this snow away to show you? To show you that the shovel works like a shovel? You know what's good about this? Punch it through crusty snow quite easily. Not even that this snow is that crusty, just in general, I'm saying for next year. Okay, this is perfect. Plenty of room. Almost down to the ground. I ended up packing the snow a bit down. Didn't get right down, but I don't know, probably another, <laughs> honestly, probably another foot down. But anyways, this is perfectly fine. Now I gotta get some rib work and some uh, boughs. Probably build a small little fire in front too. Yeah, the shovel's going good so far. I haven't really done much with it. Just kind of cut those uh, branches off. Some of them are pretty thick, but she's holding up good. I have had to tighten the head once or twice, but uh, they did say when they told me that there's still revisions to this shovel. They're still uh, um, working on little fi finite details because I don't believe it's it's ready to come out until May. They're not uh, releasing a product until May. So, but anyways, let's go uh, look for a downed um, conifer so I don't have to kill one for no reason and. Yeah, we'll get some branches and some boughs and keep on building. Get my wet, cold butt off this wet, cold ground. Ugh. All right, I found one. Top broke off of somewhere around here. I'll probably just carry this back as a one piece so it's nice and easy. should be a perfect time to test the saw out. I I want this and I want a lot of the boat bows from it but the bottom part is stuck into the snow and it'll be hard to get out. So if I just cut it here and use the top, I think that'll be sufficient. Let's clean this up a bit. All right, got a spot to saw. I'm gonna try it right here. So, I don't know if this saw is specifically for hardwood, but I think it's getting gummed up with the sap on this green wood. It's doing a job, that's for sure, but I think it'd be faster to chop it. We put a decent notch, maybe a half an inch thick already in it. Oh, and it is getting pinched here too. Okay, it's almost through. Now maybe we saw it the rest of the way. I gotta get my, my aim down with the shovel. There we go. Well, not only does this shovel have 18 uses, I keep host holing. Like, I'm on the ground now up to my knee. I keep using it as like a walking stick to get out of those post holes. Well, a little leverage, you know, a little leverage. All right, I've got a decent amount of bows now. 
might be enough might need a little bit more but what I do need to do is start getting some ribs for the back some more ribs I actually can cut that one in half because it's way too long Okay, I got about halfway through on that side. Probably just flip it and do the same thing so I don't have to try to go all the way through. There are little tricks you gotta use with this thing for sure. Okay, I gotta cut around three sides. Let's see how easy it breaks now. Perfect, okay, nothing wrong with that at all. You just got to use your head, you know what I mean? Instead of trying to go all the way through this with that saw, saw on both sides, saw on three sides, and then break. No biggie. All right, perfect. So if I get these boughs off of the tops of these limbs, I can use, like the tree, I can use that part for more um, ribs. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Use that shovel and slice off all these boughs. I decided to take off a bunch of the handle so that it's more manageable when I'm swinging it like an axe here. So I just got the one front uh, first tube on and hopefully that'll give me more oomph. You know what I mean? It was too, too unwieldy with the big long handle, for this at least. Oh man, it's slippery. Yeah, oh, that's getting good, good uh, penetration. Yeah, much better. That's good that it's versatile like that. I can use the long handle if I need or the short handle. Nice. Love it when a plan comes together. Face, BA, Murdoch, Chief? Was it Chief? All right. Okay, so the axe side penetrates much more than the saw side. Wow, that's not too shabby, seriously. Again, you just gotta be smart. I'm turning the, the tree the whole time to knock away material instead of trying to just go straight through it. Man, that's not bad, seriously. <laughs> my poor knee, my poor knee, his stupid snow. Oh man. Ah. Oh my god. Sinky.
Yeah, it's looking pretty good actually. I just got a few boughs here to uh, sit on for a minute, simulate a bed. So, all reality, this is a survival shelter. I can tuck myself way back in here and I'm past the ridge line. And if I wanted, I could overhang branches or I could put them in the front at least halfway, have a little fire in front. What would really set this, this shelter like primo would be a, a reflector blanket right on the back, which you can, those space blankets can go in your pocket, they're so small. Um, yeah, actually you could probably roll one up and put it inside that uh, shovel handle. I, definitely you could. Yeah, so plenty of room to lay down, plenty of room to be protected from the elements. Then when it comes to have a little warming fire or cooking fire, melting snow fire, sit on, on the outside of it. Have your little fire right here. Not too shabby. Not too shabby for all built in like, I don't know, this probably took me in two hours maybe. Um, it could have been done a lot quicker if I wasn't filming for sure. But then with just a shovel, with just one shovel, one tool, one shovel to rule them all. Calm down, Joe. So obviously that is not a mattress. That is just a couple battles on the ground that would not suffice. But this shelter is pretty decent. I'm sure there's spots I could find that with uh, some light coming through, but nothing that's jumping out of me right off the hop. That would definitely protect me from snow. I, I would want to put a little bit more on for rain. That would be a, a rough night. Well, that's pretty interesting. I'm pretty happy with that shovel. Pretty pleased with the EST shovel. Let's build a little small fire in front and show you what that little blade can do. Not too shabby. All right, so let's get a good length so I can split it. Nice. Man, there we go. Now comes the real test. Shaving off some pieces of this, it's fine enough to get a spark, a spark to catch them and take. Okay, I gotta collect the, these somewhere. Um, I could use birch bark, but there's no fun in that, right? I'm gonna test this stuff out. There we go. We had a bunch more. Look at those. That's not bad curls, man. I've never sharpened this or anything either, but you can definitely do. Even the, the shovel part you can sharpen. Imagine that. Sharpen in the shovel 101. I bet you I could throw this and stick it into a tree too. The shovel that is. Alright. Now just to see if we get some super fine stuff. Let's try and do this. Use the serrated part and just scrape. Oh yeah. Yep. It's making like uh, I'll show you here. This real fine hairy stuff that would be ideal for starting fires so these got a little wet sitting on that shovel but let's give her a shot and see how it goes testing this fire steel out works okay it's not the uh... all right here we go
got it. We got these tiny, tiny little twigs to put on first. Because I knew that was going to be a weak flame. Come on, you know you want to grow. You know you want to be a fire. Oh, oh, we might be losing it. Might be oh, there she goes. Saved. Saved by the pencil lead twigs. <laughs> you always want five times the prep. Grow, my pretty. These are the split pieces I used to make the shavings from. It's really the only reason I needed to split it to get some shavings. I could have, um, like I said, used birch bark, could use twigs, but then I'm not using the full potential of the shovel kit. The old shovel kit. All right, well, what do you guys think? I think it's okay. I think it's uh, the best shovel that I've used. The saw is more useful for making notches and then breaking, then, then sawing all the way through, but that's fine too, as long as you know that going in. Um, nope. Ah, it's like that Drake meme. Anyone? Anyone? All right. I gotta figure out how to, how to put this away properly. It might take me a minute. Anyway, that'll come with time, more using it. So, overall, I think it's a pretty cool, nifty uh, tool. And if you like that kind of stuff, you can go check out estgear.com for more information. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Something a little bit different than what I've been doing. Um, I'm pleased to do something different. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Or I'm going to get out of here, go home and edit the video. Before we do that, let's go take this bad boy over to a dead tree and try and throw it in like a hawk style. I think that'll be the ultimate fun thing to do with this. Ha ha ha.